So for this video, I've taken a question which involves finding fractions of amounts, quite a complex one, and we're going to really, really unpick it. So we're going to start, and that's the only thing we're doing, so no intro, we're going to go straight into that. We're going to have a look at lots of variations on it. So a, a version of it which just involves addition and subtraction, and then looking at how it moves on. And if we go in those little steps, I, I think you're going to have great success with that. Again, I would love to see any versions of this question that you write. If you manage to send them through early enough, you might, we might just manage to sneak them in on Friday, which would be really, really good. So we're going to get straight into that. Today, everyone, is called Part Finished Book. We're going to have a look at a, a typical kind of question and its structure and lots of variations on it. So we're going to have a look at some questions which involve addition and subtraction and then how uh, questions can be developed to use fractions and how it's, what's the same about that, what's different, look for different parts and wholes. So the challenge today won't be in the difficulty in the actual calculation, but it'll be understanding what calculation is required. This is something that I think a lot of, like everyone will be able to access, but there's real possibility for deepening the challenge in here as well. Um, we're going to go under the visualizer so you can see me, because my, my hand and see me drawing lots of examples. Because I think there, we're going to be able to see more examples in the time that we have. And I hope you're all going to find it super, super useful. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is understand this question and all the different forms it could take, how it can use just numbers and then we can transfer to fractions. Um, and, um, and I think it's really going to, we're going to gradually deepen the challenge. So a book has a certain number of pages. Jen, let me introduce you to Jen. Hello. Jen has read, well, how many pages has Jen read? Let's pop her there. You can see her feet, I think. And how many pages has he got left? And you probably look at that and think, hang on a minute, this has got nothing to do with fractions. This is addition and subtraction. And of course, let me move Jen so you can see her a little bit. There you go. Of course, you'd be, you'd be right if it looked like this. So let's say a book has a certain number of pages. Jen has read 130. Oh, my pen is running out slightly there. And she has got 70 pages left. As we're going through, what I want you to do is say to the screen what you think the answer is. Um, and if you ever need to pause, then do so. OK. Um, and so what would we have there? Let's see if we can represent that as a bar model. And I can use a different pen on this one. Um, so in, in this case, what we've got is parts. Jen has read 130 pages. So the part there is 130. Um, let's just go. So, so this is what she has read. And it's 130. And then this is the amount that she's got left. So this is the other part. It's not the whole book. Um, so that is 70. And I've recognised that what I have there is two parts. And so what I'm after, of course, is the whole 200. Um, and so a book there has got a different pen, Gareth, has got 200 pages. What's the structure there? It's a structure of addition and subtraction. Now, of course, that would uh, could be phrased in uh, this way around, except this time there's a slight difference. Um, you'll hopefully eventually see where I'm going with this. Um, so a book has got 160 pages. Uh, if Jen has read 110 pages, and how many pages has she got left? Well, of course, this time it's a similar structure of a question, except this time, what do I have? I have the whole the amount of pages that there is in the book, different pen, Gareth, 160. Um, the amount that she's read, um, which is, so the amount that she's read here, which is 110 and then what we're asked for is this missing amount what's the amount that she's got left and of course it is 50 pages left i'm not going to fill it in on here um now um what i wanted to consider is then what's the same and what's different when we have a context like this and there it involves fractions and so let's see if we can apply that which we may already know to that which we're gonna we're gonna learn so what about this a book has 160 pages still and Jen has read a quarter of the pages and then we have to figure out how many pages left well what's the same about answering that question and have a little go pause the video have a little go and then we'll have a look at what's the same about answering that question and then assuming that you've had a go at answering that and maybe you've tried to draw a di diagram, let's have a look. Well, still the book has 160 pages and she's read a quarter of the pages. And the difference, of course, now is that it isn't uh, two parts. I've drawn them badly, but there's four supposedly equal parts. And this is what she has read here. Uh, so Jen has read 
this part here. Now you might have looked at that and, and did a quarter of 160. Um, so Jen has read a quarter of the pages. How many pages has she got left is, the, uh, is what we're asked. So what we're asked is how many pages has she got left. So what we can work out is the amount of pages that she read is 40, it's a quarter of 160. So how many pages has she got left? Um, she actually has uh, three lots of 40. She has got 120 pages left. Now, do you notice there that um, that isn't the answer to a quarter of 160? So in this context, we have to interpret the questions really carefully. Um, so let me give you a slightly different one to have a go at next. And again, have a go at it. And then we'll look at it. It's, it's, you might benefit from drawing a bar model. So let's say we have a book and we don't know how long Jen's book is, um, but she has read half of the pages and she has got 90 pages left. Same as the question before or different? What do you think? Um, and again, if you're ready, you might have told the screen, you might have drawn and be ready to work it out, but let's have a little look. Of course, this time what we have is one of the parts and the fraction. So we know we have two equal parts. Um, so Jen has got, to, so what we're told is what she has, what she has left. Whoop. And we're told that she has got 90 pages left. Um, now if she's read half the pages, um, that that means this is half and this must also, so this is what she's read. Uh, so that has got to be 90 as well. So 180. Now again, the reflex might have been to see this and think half of 90. Book has got 45 pages. But it's about what are the parts and what are the holes. All right. Now let's see if we can move on slightly from there. So a few more examples to, uh, to have a look at. Um, so this time, let's go for this one. So again, we're not going to know how many pages the book has, but Jen has read 30 pages. And she has got one third of the pages of her book left to read. Now again, have a go at this one. Where Can you draw the bar model? How many sections will it be split into? Which parts have we been given? I wonder if we're developing some expertise here and then when you're ready we'll have a little look okay so let's have a look so I'm gonna go into let me see if I can do this relatively accurately although it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just we're just trying to show you the concepts and um, you can consider that with your bar models as well so she's got let's go here she's got this third is what she has got left and then what does that tell us that she's read she's read two-thirds and this is what she's read. And notice now that this is 30 pages for the two sections. Um, so it must be that each section is 15 pages. And that means she's got just one third of the book left. So how many pages? Well, 45 pages this time. Hope we're doing well. Um, but remember, the thing that I'm trying to get across is it's a very similar bar model. Even when we were looking at addition and subtraction, now we just don't have unequal parts. We have equal parts, but it might be more than one part. And we've just got to, can we label that bar model uh, correctly? So let's have, uh, let's have a go at, 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 this, at this one here. Um, so let's say she has read and see how it's different. In fact, I'll, I'll walk this one through with you and we'll do the next one. Let's say if Jen had read 90 pages um, and she has two thirds of the pages left and then we're saying how long is the book? Um, so again, in this case, we would just go, well, here it is thirds. Um, so we have got this one third is what she has read and then we've got these two thirds which is what we've got left and what we know is that she's read there 90 pages and in this case that represents the third so what she's got left it must be another two lots of 90 270 pages is the length of the book here
Okay. Time for another one, and this time it's one for you to have a go at. But can you see we're using the same prompt, and hopefully you're starting to kind of pick up on these patterns, use those drawings, and it is all good. Um, so this time, let's go for a book that has got 200 pages. Um, and Jen has read three quarters of, her, of the pages in the book, and we want to work out how many pages has she got left. Um, well, pause the video, have a little go at this one. And then let's have a look and I'll put on my shopping list a clearer pen. Um, so this time, well, what have we got? This 200 and what does that represent? That is all the pages in the book. Um, and then again, what are we splitting our um, bar model into? Well, we're going, of course, into quarters. Um, and Jen has read all these three quarters. So this is what we've read. And this is what we've got left. Okay, um, so she's read three quarters and we just need to work out how many pages left. Now, of course, here we already have the whole, so we can see four parts, 50, 50, 50, and 50. Um, so then how many pages has she got left? Well, it's actually, of course, it's not three quarters. Um, it's the other part. It is the 50 pages. Because the three quarters, well, that is 150 pages that she's read. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to my, the last one. As I say, we're building up in steps and this one is our final step up the mountain. So um, before you have a go and, and you can take some of these and make them your own. Um, so the last one is this. So Jen has read, we don't know how long the book is, that's what we're trying to discover. But Jen has read 30 pages with the last drops of ink from this pen. Um, and she has got three fifths of the book left. How many pages long is that book? Can you work that out? Can you draw the bar model? Which bits can you label? Um, what do we see? So have a little go. Uh, and then only when you're ready, have a look at the video again. Okay. Let's have a look at this in stages. Well, what we're going to do, split this. Really, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. We're just trying to uncover the concept. I'm going to go into fifths there. Um, so she has read two fifths. And how do I know that? Well, there are three fifths of the pages are left. So this is what's left. And this is what's been read. Um, now, all I've really done is just labelled that question as it's given. Um, and now we need to see, well, Jen has read 30 pages and 30 pages is two fifths. So each fifth is 15 pages. And then how long is that book? Well, the way, there's two ways that I would work this out. You could do uh, 15 times 10 is 150 and then halve it as a way of doing 15 times uh, 5. That's one that, way that I like. Or you could 30, 60, 75 pages. So seeing as though we've got to the last one, let's write it right in the top 75 pages long. There you go. Good reading from Jen. Um, you're going to have a go at some similar questions, um, variations on that theme. Uh, I hope seeing the bar model has really helped to uncover the structure of the maths that exists there. So for today's task, all together now, click on the blue link underneath the video. Uh, it'll bring open this. You've got a task A, a task B, and an extend task. Um, the key thing in both task A and task B is thinking, what am I actually asked for? So having a look at the numbers. So for example, Sam's book is 100 pages long. He's read 60 pages. How many pages does he have left? Ava has read 150 pages. She has 70 pages left how many pages are in the book. Looking at those numbers and thinking carefully, am I supposed to add or subtract? Is it one of the parts of the whole? Use the bar model to help. We then move on to looking at examples where you're given uh, a number of pages, perhaps in a fraction, and then think, what do I need to do? Which parts am I given? Uh, which part am I asked for? And have a look at that. So there's lots of 
deep thinking. I've not tried to make the calculation too difficult, but I have tried to make the challenge thinking, what am I actually asked for? So there's a task A. Everyone have a go at either task A or task B. And then some of you might move on to the extend task. I'd love to see any bar models that you produce for, for that one as well uh, to help show the answers to that. That would be great. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow where we'll have a bit of a summary of everything we've learned around fractions.